I'm Dana Denhun. This is Art Fair Close Up 2017. I'm here with Steve and Valerie Dore. Dore, yes. It's just spelled a little bit different. Yes. Uh, and why don't you tell me a little bit about your artwork here that you're selling at the 2017 Fair? Uh, we do wood turnings. Uh, we do bowls, pins, hollow farms, uh, platters, pendants, uh, all made from wood. And a lot of our wood is domestic, like the necklace that I have on is from the Joplin oak trees that were at the high school when the tornado hit us in Missouri six years ago. But then we have exotic wood from Australia as well as yeah. South America, etc. So when you're getting so sort of your found local wood, how do you go about getting it? <laughs> our, our local wood, we have people that will call us uh, and say, hey, we're cutting down a tree, would you be interested? Um, I have one tree that I call my a uh, tree that I've driven by for about five years that I've had my eye on. Finally, a guy says, okay, I'm ready to cut it down. You can have it. <laughs> so we, we search, but we don't go out and purposely cut down trees just for turning. We'll, we'll take what people have. Maybe the power company has cut some down and we'll get, get it that way. So what uh, is the purpose of getting some sort of exotic woods then? For color and the, the variation of the, um, color the grain. grain. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I've got like a purple heart necklace and it looks, you know, d totally different in color yeah. than the rest of them. So what do you do to the wood once you get it? How are, you, how are these pieces being created? Um, we turn them on a lathe. Uh, we'll cut them into what we call turning blanks. Uh, and then if it's still wet, we'll seal it with paraffin wax so to slow down the drying process. Mm -hmm. And then we'll turn it on a lathe. Uh, do the shaping and everything with the tools that we have, the, the gouges, and then like some of them, like the, the red piece over there, uh, we dye that. I dye it black, sand it back, then dye it red, and then put on my high gloss finish and make the finials for them. So. And then after you use your, you can use the paraffin wax to get your hands all soft afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Except it's a little too hot to do that. <laughs> um, what kind of glaze are you using for wood? Because I've never actually seen, like that does not look like wood to me, that red piece. That, that one has a polyurethane finish on it. Uh, some of my others have uh, a CA finish, which is more commonly referred to as super glue. Okay. You know, like the... Uh, the one, the three there, and then the three over there, they have the super glue finish on them. And, and my necklaces yes. have like 20 coats of super glue and a lot of sanding. Well, I can't imagine. I feel like your fingers would be stuck together all the time. <laughs> no, not really. You learn how not to do you that. <laughs> Quickly, you learn. So what got you both interested in using wood as a medium? I, I started making furniture back in 85, and I was working full time, and it just took forever, t six months to a year, to finish a project. And then uh, about 12 or 13 years ago, I started looking at wood, wood turnings, and I thought, you know, that looks interesting. And so about 10 years ago, I bought a lathe and started turning and don't make furniture anymore. <laughs> what about you? I started because I'm going to inherit all the tools and all the wood in the basement and they're going to be mine, all mine, one of these days. So I'm learning how to use them. So you're typically, yours are like the necklaces? And the natural edge bowls, the, the ones with the bark on them. Okay. That's what I've done. Okay. Uh -huh. And do you guys work together or are you working separately? Um, we have our lays right next to each other, you know, so, you know, mine's, she's behind me and every once in a while, one of us to say, okay, I'm done working because I'm getting shavings all over me, you know. From the other one. <laughs> From yeah, the other yeah. one, so. But it, it but, works but out But we work well. most of the time together in the shop. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a website people can go to? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, www.thewooden, uh, uh, T-H-E-W-O-O-D-E-N, door, D-O-E-R-R, dot com. Do you ever get jokes about your name being door? Doors are made of wood. Well, <laughs> Only when I was teaching. <laughs> yeah. and, I can't and, see through you, Mrs. Door. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the name of our, our company, so to speak, is The Wooden Door, and she came up with that, you know. So it's since, awesome. It yeah, works so out perfectly it for does. you. Yes, yeah. it, does. it does. Why should people visit you at the 2017 Art Fair? Uh, we have very unique turnings, uh, usable, functional, as well as visual right. uh, art turnings. Yep. So, All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for tuning in to Art Fair Close-Up 2017.